Welcome to Prenton Park for Liverpool versus Leicester City in the Barclays Women's Super League. A great pleasure to have your company wherever you are across the world. I'm your commentator, Michael McCann, and we're here to see which side can win this one to move on to 10 points from five games thus far this season. Both sides chasing top half of the table finishes to build on last time around when newly promoted Liverpool comfortably secured survival. Of course, it was a lot less comfortable for Liverpool, but the Willie Kirk revival managed to keep them up. Liverpool chasing a fifth home win in their last seven. They are formidable opponents on this ground and the atmosphere created by that iconic anthem of you'll never walk alone. As you can see with the scarves being regaled high adds so much to that. There will be a poignant moment before this one with a minute's silence in remembrance lest we forget. Let's have a look at the Liverpool team sheet first. Plenty of changes from that 1-1 draw at West Ham with Melissa Lawley, Jasmine Matthews and Missy Bokerns coming in for Kerry Holland. Natasha Flint who's on the bench against her old club and Emma Koivisto. As for Leicester City, two alterations from the side that pushed Manchester City close. Missy Goodwin and Josie Green coming in for Shannon O'Brien and Aileen Wheeler. Matt Beard's 150th WSL game as a manager, hoping to mark it with a 50th win. And now a minute's silence for Remembrance Day. An impeccably observed minute silence for Remembrance Day here from home and away fans alike. And kick off now, mere moments away for Liverpool versus Leicester City. A firm reminder that some things are more important than football. Which, of course, Bill Shankly himself, a Liverpool legend, once described as the most important of the non important things in life. Leicester City in their changed goal kick with the black shorts and gold socks. Liverpool in their traditional all red home kit. The captain's going in for the coin toss. Sophie Howard of Leicester City and Taylor Hines of Liverpool. Team news if you're slightly late to this one. Shanice van der Sanden is back on the bench for Liverpool after injury. Melissa Lawley, Jasmine Matthews, and Missy Bokerns come in from the side that. Almost won at West Ham two weeks ago, but for a 95th minute re equaliser from Ueki after Mary Hubinger's goal, looked to have secured Liverpool the points for a period of time. Kerry Holland, Natasha Flint, and Emma Coivis don't make way. Manchester City with two changes from the side that 
Leicester City, I should say, with two changes from the side that pushed Manchester City so close 15 days ago, beg your pardon. Chloe Kelly's early goal was the difference in that one. Missy Goodwin and Josie Green come in. Shannon O'Brien and Aileen Whelan make way for them. Leicester City chasing a fourth straight win against Liverpool. They've already beaten them earlier on this season, winning 2-1 at home in the Conti Cup last month. Huddles complete. Remember, plenty of football to enjoy elsewhere on the FA Player today. A much improved Tottenham side under Robert Villa Hammond in action against Everton. And of course, that is by no means your only WSL offering. Manchester City have just equalised against Arsenal. West Ham versus Bristol City kicks off in and out, and the late game is Brighton versus Manchester United. For now, though, a moment to take a stand by taking a knee against all forms of racism and discrimination. Important that sport is for all of us to enjoy, regardless of your identity. And after that slight full start kickoff from Inner Peterman. We're now off and underway here at Prenton Park. Liverpool versus Leicester City, two sides who've been much improved this season on last season. Plenty of signs of optimism for each of them. With seven points to show from their first four, and both can move into double figures with victory in this one. City winning 4-0 here last season. It was something of a surprise given how excellent Liverpool's home form was across much of the campaign. Liverpool with the best home form outside of the so-called big four of Manchester United, Manchester City, Arsenal and Chelsea. They were fifth in the home table but 11th away from home, winless away. It was their home form that ensured they weren't really drawn into a relegation scrap. Leicester City, of course, only surviving thanks to a late surge under Willie Kirk. Helped on by Lawley. Back only relatively recently after a long-term hip in injury that has kept her out for a considerable period of time. A nicely worked move this. Got some service into the feet of Sofia Roman Haag. The summer signing from Roma. Now a chance to work something from the throw-in. <laughs> Clark, the young centre half. And Bonner. Nodded on towards Lawley. Both sides look to be in the shape that both of these coaches, Matt Beard and Willie Kirk, tend to prefer with a back three and then variations on that going forward. Lovely driving run this and all of a sudden possibilities opening up for Leicester City. Eventually stopped. Nevin, Chelsea Green. Green once more. Little clip ball forward. Missy Bo Kearns is there to intercept. One of their own in these parts, the Scouser in our team. She's sometimes referred to. Impressive all-round central midfielder. Scored four goals last season, three of them winners. And clipped goalwards. Mine's there to deal with it. Green forward. Neatly timed interception.
headed up by Thibault. And loses out in the battle with Roman Haag. That will be one to watch out for across today. And Liverpool get themselves the first corner of this one. Chance to get those three centre-backs, Fisk, Bonner and Clark, all forward. Try and cause some early chaos here. Have struggled for goals a little bit. Only scored four in four. Lifted in. Liverpool with four league goals in four games. Leicester City have been a bit more sc free scoring. Scored four on the opening day in their 4 2 win at Bristol City. Of course, these sides have already met this season. Leicester City winning 2 1 at Burton in the Conti Cup on the 11th of October. We see Bo Kearns trying to work an opening. And a chance for Fisk to cross. Not properly cleared. Pinballing around in there. Leicester City just can't get it away. And that will come back at them. Another decent ball in that was heading into the right kind of space before it was cut out for another corner. Cleverly taken short, Missy Bocan's in a lot of space. We'll have to settle for another corner. Real danger there, Leicester City caught a bit napping by the short one. We're busy dealing with that bus stop routine that's ready by the penalty spot. And again, it's worked short. Third corner in quick succession for Liverpool here. Can they get something more to show for it? Corner in. They get a little flick on the way through. And now a chance for Leicester City to build. And away though, well intercepted by Jasmine Matthews into the lineup today. Matthews has signed a contract extension in the summer, and right through the Lionesses' age group systems, including playing for the England under 23s. Quite a lot of this squad, Matthews is one of them, have worked with Matt Beard previously at Bristol City or West Ham. Matthews doing so during Matt Beard's time at Bristol City. running the channel from Peterman needs support does eventually get it you see Goodwin was arriving Mr City get the throw in was quite isolated there had to use all of her experience the German Thibaut forced back. Judy Thibaut, one of a uh, number of smart acquisitions by Leicester City in the summer. Signed in the summer from Bordeaux. France international as of earlier this year as well, though she didn't make the World Cup squad, was part of the Tournoi de France, friendly tournament where the French faced Norway, Uruguay and Denmark earlier this year. Thibault wanted the one two, didn't quite get it. Leipzig has to be careful. Had to feel Roman Hag hunting her down. And here the Leipzig, who has been absolutely whopping great part of the Leicester City revival, signed on loan in the second half of last season from Bayern Munich. 
no doubt one of if not the signing of the campaign and then to Leicester City fans delight that signing was made permanent in the summer said it was an easy decision and fell in love with the club Fisk given away with Leipzig. Both of these sides remember coming into today with seven points from four games, knowing that if they were to win, Manchester United were to fail to win against Brighton and Hove Albion in their trip south, and Tottenham fell to win at home against Everton, they could go up into the lofty heights of third. Laws, an experienced veteran, part of that Liverpool side under Matt Beard that won the WSL in 2014. Beard coming back in 2021 to bring success again, bring Liverpool out of the championship. Hurried out for a Liverpool throw. Worked short. Fisk. Now Lawley. Lawley's cross. Good win back. Slightly heavy touch. Nearly played their way right into trouble, Leicester. Red shirt swarming on the high press. Real intent from Liverpool pressing hard. Josie Green, got to be a touch careful back there. Walsh International played against Denmark in the Nations League recently. That relatively new innovation to women's football. Leicester City free kick. Leicester City hunting yet another win against Liverpool. They've had the notch on them in recent head-to-heads. 2-1 win in the Conti Cup when goal from Amy Palmer had them in front in the 34th minute. Natasha Flint equalised against her old club right on the stroke of half-time. But Hannah Kane's goal five minutes into the second half proved to be the winner. Port in possession back there, but a foul from Missy Bo Kearns. It's good hustle, though, from... Kearns and Leicester City have got to be wary of the Liverpool pressing trap. Last season when these sides met, Leicester City won 4-0 here in a surprise result. Not so much in fact in terms of the fact that Leicester City were able to beat Liverpool, but the sheer margin of victory in particular. And Liverpool have been so good at home. You'll remember they beat Chelsea and Manchester City, amongst other things, at home last season. They're trying to work something here. Ends up at the feet of Thibault. Now CJ Bob. Heinz on the underlap. Gets the return ball. Nice work from Taylor Heinz, but then the cross is too close to Lamina Leipzig. Catching practice for the Visiting keeper. Lost by Peterman. Back with Laws. Described by Matt Beard as leader on and off the pitch. Mad. Trying to create something here. Thibaut gets half an interception in in the nick of time, and now the shot can come in. It's the first time either keeper's been tested, but it's a regulation save for a keeper of Janina Leipzig's high quality. Here come Liverpool again, though. 
Smashed out for a throw and that's all Leicester City can do. Now Leicester City's turn to try and press. But Liverpool have broken out of it really nicely. Jenna Clark charging forward. Couldn't quite find the pass, but it comes for Lawley. Hines. Now Sam Tierney. Tierney, who's been a really important figure in the Leicester City side this season. Nobody's won more fouls, nobody's had more passes in the opposition half, and nobody's had more interceptions. Can't ask for much more than that from your central midfielder. Alan Peterman. Good work from Eno Peterman. He really adds a different dimension to this Leicester City attack through the middle. Gives a focal point that their wingers and wide players can feed off. German international, his last cap came in 2020, has always described it as a dream to play in England. He's talked about being most comfortable in the middle, but can go wide as well. It's been used through the middle since signing in the summer from Montpellier. I think it had spells at the likes of Tabina Potsdam, Freiburg and Hamburg before, as well as in USA with the UCF Knights. Hammered away by Heinz. Leicester City's chance to try and make something happen. Cut out fantastically by Nagano. Defence nipped in in the nick of time. Pressure remains though. Fisk, who's got a lot of space so far in this game down the right flank. Clark. Clark's driven cross. And Liverpool recycle and look to build once more. Crossfield ball might just be kept in here. It was. Fisk is getting in acres of room down that right flank. I just mentioned it before, and then again, she was found on that occasion in a very dangerous spot. Grace Fisk, a defender, but one who's always had the capacity to play out from the back nicely and get forward impressively. And this system that Matt be plays with a level of tactical flexibility gives her the chance to do that a bit more than she might have had previously when being a centre back in a back four set piece chance for Liverpool still there for them that can come back in Binger looks wide. A rare collector's item that, a mistake from Mary Hubinger giving the ball away. She's been one of us, not the star of Liverpool's season thus far. Hubinger creating the most chances of any Liverpool player in the game at West Ham a couple of weeks back. And completing the most crosses as well. 
has been impressive right from her debut. She was a key instigator in the move that led to Millie Taylor scoring the goal that gave Liverpool victory at the Emirates. Lawley skipping onward, eventually stopped by Howard. And a Kane goes to ground, gets the free kick. And a Kane who will need no extra motivation for this fixture. Nothing once been of Everton. Heinz. Bonner looks wide on a historic day for Gemma Bonner. Deserving of congratulations, equaling the most appearances for Liverpool in the WSL era. Goes level with Ashley Hodgson on 134. to Laws. Slightly mistimed pass, Thibaut looking for the interception. Laws. by Matthews initially, Hines up the line, could be something promising building for Liverpool here, Lawley, Lawley's cross and nodded wide by Sofia Roman Hub. could have been her first Liverpool goal in the WSL, rightly puts a thumbs up for the service, exactly what you want as a centre forward this, and the summer signing from Ro Roma, nods it wide on that Roma side that reached the Champions League quarter-finals in their first season in Europe losing out to Barcelona at that stage they also won the Italian top flight big achievement that given Juventus's reign of dominance previously and Sofia Roman Hug also making a name by scoring a World Cup hat-trick in the World Cup just gone so here comes Fisk Deflected just wide, could have been an own goal. It wasn't too far from being an own goal. And again, Grace Fisk is getting in all sorts of space down that right flank. Liverpool are working the overloads really nicely. Leicester often guilty of defending quite narrow. Missy Goodwin is tracking back on Fisk, but too late to stop Fisk entering the box and causing all sorts of problems. corner ends up running all the way through for CJ Bott who can roam forward with real intent and purpose has options left and right back to Bott who misses a kick at the crucial moment could have been her first goal for Leicester City it's still there for the Foxes Nagano's challenge is a good one manages to stop Sam Tierney Floated cross, nobody home at the back post. Here's Box run again. Better known for her excellent work at the back. The Versatile Kiwi defender who signed a new two year contract in the summer. 
but ended up just outside the six yard box and had she put boot to ball was probably celebrating her first Fox's goal. She became one of the big personalities of the World Cup that of course New Zealand co-hosted. Said uh, jokingly on a documentary behind the scenes that I feel like I came out of the womb ready for a camera. CJ Bott, one of the uh, big personalities in that New Zealand squad. Of just taking a second because Liverpool's defence is well set. Bit of space here to carry it forward. Nicely done by Josie Green. Now Goodwin. Around the outside. Well defended by a combination of Lisk and Clark. Corner swung in. Cross swung in, didn't get any other further touch on the way through. Now I've had a bit of a tendency of coming alive in an attacking sense in the second half, Leicester City. Nine of their last ten goals have come in the second half. Five of their six goals this season in the WSL have come in the second half. Only Manchester United and Chelsea have scored more after the break. Indeed, just to sort of illustrate the point of taking a while to warm up, their only first half goal was scored by Amy Palmer against Bristol City, and that was in first half stoppage time, 45 plus one on the clock. And she scored for them to equalise. of the game of hot potato both sides defending well both sides struggling to break the other down which in many ways speaking to a few analysts in the build-up to this one including sources in both camps was the sort of game they expected Fisk force backwards good pressing by Courtney Nevin Laws puts boot to ball Liverpool looking to build on a good start to the season. Seven points from four games. And it's the most they've had at this stage of any WSL season since the side that went on to win the title in the 2013-14 campaign. They had nine points after four games. That's not me saying Liverpool are necessarily going to win the WSL title this season, but it demonstrates they've had an impressive start. And that Matt Beard has got them looking upwards with optimism. to something of a slide since they won that title under him in 2014. It took them to the championship for a couple of seasons. Peterman sets it wide. Bot looks back. Howard. Leicester City starting to find their rhythm a bit. Thibaut. Nevin decided to shoot straight at Laws. First save Rachel Laws has had to make of the day. Much like Janina Leipzig's first. Not an overly taxing one. Laws who rejoined Liverpool in 2020 from Reading. It's instrumental in the Liverpool side that Got promotion with club record 13 clean sheets in that campaign. Slightly uncertain defending. Lawley for a second feels she might be through. Might see the tall German will just calm things down for a second. Helped around the corner by Uttarantala. The thin, a valuable addition to Leicester this season.
Good aggressive work in there from Hubinger. He hasn't been on the ball too much in the early stages of this one. And she does, is very capable of making things happen for Liverpool. Not the best bit of distribution forward from Tierney. Now Laws can look to get Liverpool going. Liverpool who have a rich history, founded in 1989 as Newton Ladies FC by ex lioness Ms. Deegan, rechristened as Knowlesley United two years later. And then in 1994, were officially linked with Liverpool. Finishing as FA Cup runners-up in 94, 95 and 96. And then much later in 20. 12 being one of the eight WSL founding teams. Nevin. Green. Good win. Green once more. He's missed by Thibaut, couldn't bring it under control. Ball forward has Team much on it for Missy Bocairns to try and have a charge at it. Half an hour gone. These sides not separated in terms of points tally coming into this one and not separated by much at all, you'd have to say, on the pitch so far either. Indeed, have even got identical goal difference. It's only on goals scored. Here's Goodwin. And he's offside. These two only split on the table by goals scored. Leicester City and Liverpool both with plus two goal difference. Leicester City scoring six, conceding four. Liverpool scoring four, conceding two. Remember that you can watch Spurs versus Everton on the FA player as well. That game is also goalless 33 minutes in. West Ham versus Bristol City kicks off in... Under half an hour from now, the late game is Brighton against Manchester United. And of course, Chelsea won 6 0 at Aston Villa yesterday. Crossing chance, fizz towards that back post. Where unfortunately for Liverpool, there wasn't a red shirt to potentially tuck it in. Again, though, this is all he's showing their ability to. Put a really decent delivery in from wide areas. There's maybe a touch overhit based on where the two runners were, but still one to cause Leicester City concern. And they've caused the Foxes more concern. Their good pressing forces the mistake from Leipzig. Fisk, you've seen a lot of the ball in this first half. Gets it back. Fisk's cross. Came off the foot of Missy Bocairns. The only blot on Liverpool's copybook so far, the only defeat, a 1-0 loss at home in the derby. Megan Finnegan's goal, the difference. In mid-October, almost won at West Ham, but for that late... Ueki equaliser, having also beaten Arsenal and Aston Villa before that. This Lawley runs out of room. Liverpool looking to bring back the glory days. And that beer, once upon a time, WSL title winners in 2013 and 2014. Closest they've come to silverware since in terms of major silverware as opposed to winning the championship second division it was the semi-final of the Conti Cup in 2015 they lost to two goals from Alan White for Notts County and then suffered the same fate in the FA Cup semi-finals in 2017 didn't make it any further of course, won the championship a couple of seasons ago to get that WSL status back lovely turn from Jasmine Matthews, Fisk, Nagano. Liverpool starting to really tick here. Lawley swap flanks. Lawley's delivery, and the head is a good one, and the save is even better from Janina Leipzig. 
great stop to keep it at nil-nil. You couldn't have blamed Sofia Roman Haug for thinking that when that ball came off her forehead, she just scored her first goal for Liverpool. So close. A sprawling stop from Leipzig. He'd had to go one way to cover the angle, then jump back another. Excellent football all round, you'd have to say. Warner goes further on without anyone getting a decisive touch on it. Now Hines. Given away by Hubinger. Leicester City's turn to try and build, but Liverpool have the momentum right now. It all changed so quickly. Good win up against Fisk, who's a very good one on one defender and shows that again here. He's been one of the most impressive players, both going forward and going back in this first half, Grace Fisk. Not an easy role as a wing back within. This system, there's a lot of onus on you to provide natural width. Get all the way forward up to the byline for crosses and then be all the way back covering your winger. Offside flag up. down clutching her head so rightly game immediately stopped in fact it's Julie Thibault after the aerial collision hopefully nothing too serious for the French defender and in the aerial contest Leicester City looking to build on what's already been a vast improvement to last season they had seven points after their first three league games at 4-2 win at Bristol City the 1-0 home win against Everton and then a 1-0 draw 1-1 draw at Manchester United Mayor Letizia equalizing after Aileen Whelan looked to possibly set the Foxes towards a famous win to give you an idea of how big a change that is under Willie Kirk well they got to seven points in three games last season you may remember they were winless and pointless indeed after nine games he was still pointless at the turn of the year and it took them 14 games to get to that same tally of seven points and a lot has changed in a very short space of time indeed it's a Leicester squad that has changed a heck of a lot since Willie Kirk took over it said once upon a time at the start of last season on the their pitch podcast to me, Ericsson and Amanda Zaza that he wouldn't be taking a head coach's role again as opposed to his director of football role unless it was a club that was in and around the Champions League spot such was his contentment at being director of football at Leicester City but things changed fast under Lydia Bedford who kept them up the previous season they then had a, a very poor start and the next thing Willie Kirk knew he was being asked to jump down parachuted into the dugout to keep them up ready to get back underway now Tipo set to come back on in front of us there's Nevin great pressing up there from Fisk and the snapshot is wide I mentioned not too long ago what a good half of football Grace Fisk has had. It was nearly her pressing, about as high up the pitch as you can pretty much possibly go. It almost created something out of nothing there for Lawley. Well, that's a Lawley hunting what would have been her first WSL goal of the season. Lawley, who 
joined in 2019 from Manchester City. He's a key player in Liverpool's promotion season. Sophie Howard is down, clutching her face, so this will be another injury stoppage. Hopefully the Scottish defender is OK. Howard, who played in recent Nations League games for her country against England and Belgium. Once of the likes of Reading and Hoffenheim. It's part of the Leicester City side that came up out of the championship in 2020-21 and then has clung on to that WSL status in the last couple of seasons. And I say clung on because it is what it's been like in truth. Been quite fortunate to just about stay up twice. Had some miraculous recoveries in both seasons. with the lowest scorers with the second worst defence in the division last season and yet we're still able to survive. Smart January transfers in Ian Leipzig, probably the highlight of them. Ruby Mace as well on loan from Manchester City was something of a masterstroke. Leicester City once again after a Head injury stoppage, get back to their full complement. And there will be a significant chunk of injury time added on at the back end of this first half. Referees this season as well have got an additional system that is meant to keep further track of making sure times where the ball isn't in play for extended periods added back on. Good win round the corner, real danger here. Flashed across goal and it ends up in the gloves of Laws. Bit of luck for Liverpool there. Great run by Courtney Nevin, good link up play with Missy Goodwin and it could have gone anywhere. And luckily for Liverpool, ricocheted off the defender into Laws' gloves. Can't quite find the pass. Liverpool set up on the high press. Liverpool looking for 50th WSL career win for their manager Matt Beard, for whom it's his 150th game in charge today across his WSL career. Sophia Roman Haag really leading the press up there. And Josie Green who gives it away. Clark, Missy Bocans. Couldn't quite find Lawley. No goals here yet. There has been a goal elsewhere. I don't wish to know who it's gone to. Press mute for 30 seconds or so. It's happened in the game between Tottenham and Everton. And it's Grace Clinton who's in quite the rich reign of form at the moment. The scored, set up by Drew Spence. And earlier on, Arsenal have beaten Manchester City by two goals to one. Steph Catley had them in front. Kim Little missed a penalty. Harry Kelly equalised for Manchester City. And then Sina Blackstenius in the 87th minute won it for Arsenal. Laws goes direct. Off to the feet of Fisk. It's a three on three if they can work this one quickly, but 
Josie Green manages to win the battle with Missy Burkerns. I have to say, a lot of Liverpool's impressive start to the campaign has come from their impressive pre-season games against PSG, Atletico Madrid, Manchester City and Manchester United. Matt Beard talking about how such a challenging pre-season against teams are all either playing Champions League football or right at the top of European football in terms of at least being in and around that Champions League conversation has made a difference. Messi Bocones is cross. Thrown one off Hannah Kane. Oh, very clever turn that. Shooting chance. Oh. Liverpool not far away from grabbing the lead in spectacular fashion. Mary Hubinger, who already has a couple of WSL goals this season, and has been so impressive since signing in the summer from Tabina Potsdam almost adds another smart work by Anina Leipzig moving who spent last year on loan at Zurich where she also gained Champions League experience and floated up and nodded wide Liverpool having somewhat the better of this first half and growing in confidence as it heads towards a close and it's a second aerial chance of the contest for Sofia Roman Haag to open her Liverpool goal account. The Norwegian who scored a hat trick in a 6 0 win against the Philippines in the recently concluded Women's World Cup. And Liverpool were really pleased to sign her in the summer from AS Roma. We'll add the, another focal point up front. Green. Really lovely, neat skills, and then flicked over the top for Pirtman, who's in all sorts of space. Eventually was closed down, good win. Set back and whipped wide by Yudorandela. Who couldn't quite find the finish. But there was a nick on it, and it will be a corner. Yudorandela, who already has couple of WSL goals this season, the Finn. Scored two in the 4-2 win to start their season off at Bristol City. Corner Zingden. Leicester City, great something, the half-time whistle, not too far away. Of course, we have had two lengthy injury delays, so it will be a fair old chunk of stoppage time, which, of course, is what we're in. <laughs> Missy Bocairns trying to set something going. Liverpool, an evolving young team under... Matt Beard, there was question marks about how they deal with not having Katie Stengel around. Does she scored nine of their 24 WSL goals last season, but oh, these signs are extremely promising. Matt Beard talking about the fact that he's excited for the future of this team. For now, it's 0-0 at half-time here. A tight, intense contest between two sides that couldn't be separated by points all goal difference on the table coming into this one. Indeed, we're only separated by the goal scored metric and they've been similarly close on the pitch here. Liverpool have marginally had the better of the contest, you might say, but there hasn't really been many clear-cut chances for either side. At the break here at Prenton Park, it's Liverpool nil, Leicester City nil. Let's take a look at the highlights of that first half. CJ Bott 
who you see the international really grabbing her first goal for Leicester City. A lovely one two with Missy Goodwin, but then couldn't quite apply the finishing touch. And Julie Thibault setting up Nevin. So relatively simple save for Rachel Laws. Grace Fisk got a lot of space down the right flank in this first half and on this occasion Fisk was part of helping to create the room for Lawley whose cross was finding Sofia Roman Haug. Good save needed by Leipzig to keep it at nil-nil. And then Hubinger trying a luck from distance and again Leipzig had to be equal to it. And then here yeah, Pritman setting up Goodwin who in turn found Jutarantala and took a little nick on the way through. You haven't say, said you wouldn't say we've necessarily seen either keeper have to make a save above their normal excellent standards to keep things at nil nil. Although Janina Leipzig, no doubt, has been the busier of the two. Leicester City have had a habit, though, for coming strong in the second half of games recently under Willie Kirk. We'll see if that continues. At the break, it's goalless. Excited, would say nervous, but nervous doesn't really suit me. So yeah, excited. We're passionate about what we're trying to do. We know what we're going after. We know it's going to be tougher than it ever has been. So um, very excited of what's to come. I'm feeling really excited and uh, curious in the new season to see how far we will reach with Chelsea. What excites me about this team is we've had very little disruption to the current squad. Being able to bring in Jill Rod, who's a top player, we have a, a new team together and I'm really excited to see how we can do in this WSL and looking forward to it. We've had a good pre-season so far, seven new signings who are bedded in well. It's going to take a little bit of time but we're really pleased with the performance levels. We've had some tough games in pre-season, tested ourselves against European opposition. I think it's going to be a big step up this year but I think we're riding the confidence of promotion and we're hoping to really carry it into this year. I'm looking forward to it. We've obviously got new players in, new manager in, fresh start. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the season starting. The team goal is to win trophies. Right now we have the cup to give everything for and the league. Uh, so of course we want to win trophies this year. Team goals for the season is to win. We want to be successful. We want to win trophies. We, we enjoy winning silverware. So that's got to be the aim. We're in it to win it. We just need to work and improve on, on what we did well at the end of last season, compete with the top teams and, and be in and around it. If we can be even better in, in, in the aspects of keeping the ball, be good at dominating the games, uh, it doesn't matter if it's top four, if it's, it's the rest of the league, uh, we want to have our own identity and uh, so basically just building on that. I think it's just building on what we did towards the end of last season. We obviously have our internal goals, but as a team it will be looking to build on what happened last season, yeah. To be competitive. We want to make sure that we surprise teams and that doesn't necessarily mean in the obvious ways, it means in the fact that we've got ambition, grit, we want to prove our point, uh, we want to play football and uh, we want to make sure it's exciting for fans because they've been following us through this journey the last two years so we want to make it uh, just as enjoyable for them again. Ooh, definitely hard working. Ambitious. Is that the right word? Together. Quality. Driven. Funny. Passionate. Togetherness is one word. I think resilient as well. Relaxed. Good people. Passion. We love our fans, they're great. The fans should come down and watch us because we will leave nothing in the tank. We'll put it all out there, we'll work our absolute socks off. So please fans, come and watch us. We have a good team, we have a team that, that's passionate. And we, we've got some talented players at this football club and, and we're really looking forward to seeing what we can achieve this year. I really hope that uh, we in Chelsea can put out a show for the fans, uh, play some good football, show some winning mentality, both when it goes good, we want to do it even better, but also when it's not that easy. I think the, this season will be extremely competitive and yeah, there's no reason for the fans not to be there. We're playing against some of the best players in the world, playing against some of the best teams and it's our chance to make our mark. The fans should watch Arsenal because we play good football, we play exciting football, we want to score goals and we want to have possession and uh, dominate games. They rock um, Walsall time and time again. The support towards last season was arguably one of the best in the division. 
So get your tickets now, guys. Our fans should, should look out for every, uh, every new signing that we have made. Uh, really interesting players uh, with different qualities. So yeah, watch out. Yeah, we're pleased with, with who we brought in. We've, what we wanted to do with this recruitment was make sure that we added strength and depth competition for places. We needed goals, so Sophie Roman coming in is, is a, a big part of that. We're looking forward to seeing how she settles in. Janice Kamen, I think she's very composed on the ball. And then I'd also say Deanne Rose because she's got a lot of experience in the league and she's very quick. As I said, it's, it's a very, very new look side. A lot of new signings, but I think that's exciting. We're a new look team, but we're excited to show what we can do. We've obviously um, got to fifth spot for the first time, so I think what's different is the ambition and, and drive from the club is, you know, high from us and hopefully we can do well this year. New squad, we lost quite a few players last season. We've also got a new manager, so I think our style of play will change. Maybe the formations that we play within that. Yeah, so quite, quite a few changes. Last season was a really tough season, but it was almost just about surviving, whereas now we've got a fresh slate, so everyone's really excited to get going. Hi, I'm Sandy. I'm Chiara. And, and this, this is Save, Save Reacts. Rebecca Welsh takes the first look at the watch, and Chelsea might be able to win it here. It's Sam Kerr. She's clean through. All right. Stopped Rose. by Roebuck. Big and strong yeah, she is. Yeah, made herself big. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Stop it. Nah, Sam, that was a great team. Oh, thanks. See it more and tonight, you like, uh, tonight you didn't even just pull off a worldie. Oh, nice, nice. Thanks, Kiki. Oh, we'll watch it again if we have to. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this is it. Oh, uh, I yeah. thought this would be the one. Reaction. And she just, that is a vile. She's just like. <laughs> nah, she's not. Well. Nah, that was a great reaction to you. Yeah, right on the goal line. <laughs> oh, I remember this one. Yeah, I yeah, it was like the Chelsea nice. one. Nice Roby. Great positioning. <laughs> I think this was, it was only like 1 0 this game or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit, well to stay up there. Yeah, I would have been down. Why is she so open? Yeah. We're very defending, but we're not going to judge that, are we? <laughs> but we shall. It's all about the same. <laughs> I can't even remember the same that I did. Sure, I'm not going to show the goal. <laughs> oh. Nice, Kiki! Get out of here. That'll just get out of my house. Oosh! Sent to the shops. Nice, Kiki. Same big. Big. And up for the rebounds. Come on. Straight up. <laughs> Spots of Bailey Robot. <laughs> oh nice. That, why did that yeah, that looked that looked really weird. Ooh, again. Shot get the punch. Out. Get out of here. We should get out more, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> That's you. I don't like that. Even that kit Oh, I love that kit. Yeah. Nice. Oh, sound. no. I'll tell you what, I mean, not to make excuses, but <laughs> those mitre balls, when they're brand new, are so slippy. <laughs> Should be catching this, you know. 
Oof. That was great defending by Barry, by the way. Yeah. They got Barry. Oh, that's it. Oh, lovely. Well, <laughs> nice. Three clips between Wrapped us. up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laya Codina, and this is Get to Know. I think that Arsenal is, has been always uh, a great club and now the project with women is so uh, exciting and, it's, and this is why I'm here because I think that we can achieve uh, a lot of titles. Good, I think that there's um, a nice group and the players are helping me a lot and all the staff. There, there's a, a good environment to, to grow up and to, to, still, to still winning a lot. No, I know, I know maybe some girls because I faced with them in the, during the World Cup, but not, uh, I didn't been with them before. Uh, Leah Waldi. Good, I think that not only him, all the staff is very familiar, so I think that for the people who are, who are new, it's, it's good because uh, it's easy to, to still in. I'm, I'm a young player, I have to grow up a lot, and I think that here is, is the best option and we will see, but I only think that we can achieve a lot of titles with, uh, with the team, that's our goal. I think that I'm an aggressive player, I think that I'm very brave, or I try to be very brave, because I think that it's um, a good uh, thing for a player. And I will also, um, with the ball, I think that I'm good building up, that's, that's all. I, um, I already say that I love it. I don't know, this goal here is, is very, I don't know, it's very brilliant and I think that there's a lot of, in this uh, shirt there's a lot of history and it's nice to feel that. that. Welcome back to the second half of the Spark Peace WSL encounter between Liverpool and Leicester City. The Foxes chasing a fourth straight win against the Reds and looking to continue their run of having come particularly strong in the second half of games under Willie Cook. Nine of their last league goals. Their last 10 league goals have come in the second half and five of their six this season have been after the break. The only one that wasn't was Amy Palmer's goal, which was in first half stoppage time against Bristol City. Or are Liverpool about to make it five home wins out of seven. They were very impressive at home last season. It was the reason they didn't end up in a relegation scrap. Liverpool in all red now kicking from right to left as we look at things. Leicester City in their changed gold and black attacking from left to right. And Nina Leipzig certainly the busier keeper of the first half that I would certainly say Liverpool shaded in terms of looking more likely to score. Lovely ball round the corner from Sofia Romanhag for Magano. Now Lawley 
And all these deflected shot. Bounces up kindly. And enables Leipzig to gather with relative simplicity. Should be intriguing as well to see the dynamic in terms of how both coaches use it, their benches in this second half. Two coaches who have plenty of history against each other in the WSL. Willie Kirk winning five of his seven managerial duels against Matt Beard. He would love to celebrate his 150th WSL game in the dugout with a 50th win. Liverpool with eight options on the bench, Leicester City with seven, of course, both coaches can make up to five changes in three stoppages. And either coach choosing to make an alteration at half-time. one into the feet of Missy Bo Kearns. Good interception initially by Thibaut, but then Roman Haag won it back. Chops around the outside for Hubinger, but in truth, the pass was over hit. Now Fisk. Clever little touch, beautifully done. Is there a finish from Lawley? Oh, there is! How about that? In just the third minute of the second half, Liverpool have the lead in some style. Fisk into the feet of Melissa Lawley, who still had a lot of work to do. The only way she was going to beat the keeper of Janina Leipzig's quality from that angle was by doing exactly what she did. A moment to remember for Melissa Lawley, who gets her first WSL goal since the 2019-2020 season. A moment of magic from Melissa Lawley. Scored in 2019-20 season in a 1-1 draw between Liverpool and Bristol City. And now Lawley might have a second. Oh, just lost her footing at the crucial moment. And then given away by Leipzig, uncharacteristically so. Hubinger, all the momentum with Liverpool right now. hope that if Leicester City the Leicester City don't work them back into the contest and force Liverpool to regret and Melissa Lawley to regret not finishing this one off the first touch was just slightly heavy and then Courtney Nevin just did the, the tiniest of little leans on Lawley to try and make her life more difficult and the chance was gone in cleared by Howard and then stabbed goalwards but over by Missy Bokerns <laughs> Liverpool looking to build on Melissa Lawley scoring the first WSL goal in just over four years
Heinz. Liverpool really sniffing an opportunity here to get a second goal while the other one's in control of the contest. Headed on by Roman Hug. Lawley in there fighting for it. Losing out and then a slightly clumsy challenge. It will bring Leicester City the relief of a free kick. Just a chance to find their feet at the start of the second half. Well, Liverpool have come out of the traps absolutely flying. Lovely turn and then it helped around the corner, but the pass wasn't quite where it needed to be. It's worked out well for Leicester City, though. Good win. Still good win. He's appealing for a corner and he's not getting it. This will be a real test of Leicester City's resolve. We had a very happy trip here last season. Their only ever WSL win in the northwest of England. 4 0 away win, no less, in February. Ashley Plumpter, who's now, of course, headed to Saudi Arabia. Harry Jones, who's then on loan from Manchester United. Josie Green and Missy Goodwin all on target. Very different script today. Also, did the double over Liverpool. A goal from Hannah Kane giving. Him a 1 0 home win, too. Three on three, if they can work this quickly. What a ball from Hines, stabbed goalwards. Great save by Leipzig. Almost a first Liverpool goal for Sofia Roman Haag. Not for the first time today. Forces the German goalkeeper into a very good save. Even by Janina Leipzig's very high standards, that's exceptional. Closes the angle down so quickly. Lawley. That's the return ball. Now for another corner. I should say, I beg your pardon, just clarifying that head to head record, of course. Leicester won 4 0 at home and won 1 0 here at Prenton Park last season. And the Kane's goal, the difference when the sides met here in February. Key win in Leicester's revival to staying up. And swinging corner headed over the bar. Another good chance for Liverpool to make it 2 0. It has been absolute one way traffic in the first 10 minutes of this second half. Liverpool have been all over Leicester City. Another aerial chance for Sophia Moran, Roman Haag. He's had plenty of sights of goal. Been off target on a couple of occasions and, and he's tested Anina Leipzig multiple times too. He's lawly, full of confidence. After that first WSL goal in four years. Liverpool have been down in the championship for a couple of seasons. The Laws puts her boot through it. Nagano. Carried forward with confidence. Now Hines. Hines is floated cross, is too close to Leipzig. Commands her box while takes control of the situation. 
Well, the next phase of the game we're about to head towards is one which will be all about how both coaches use their bench. It should be really fascinating to see. Leicester might, you would think, their most obvious attacking threat to look to would be Deanne Rose, the Canadian international. Might also look to talented youngster Ava Baker, as well as Amy Palmer, Monique Robinson. James Cayman, summer signing from Lyon, an experienced midfielder. That's for Liverpool, Shanice van der Sunden's back on the bench. This move Taylor, of course, got that winner at the Emirates against Arsenal. Mir Enderby, Natasha Flint against our old club, Jana Daniels, Sophia Lunga. In terms of outfield options. Chance on the break for Leicester, who we've seen precious little of going forward in this centre half. Decent cross in, headed up but not away by Hines. Unconvincing delivery defending from Liverpool. Thibaut recycles. And a chance to fizz one in. Oh, it's gone in. 1-1. One, one. What a finish from Missy Goodwin. How about that as a way to get your first of the season? An incredible strike. Scored against Liverpool in the 4-0 home win last season and scores away against them this season to level the game. Out of nowhere. Liverpool have dominated the start of this second half, but it's 1-1. And you'd have to say football can be a brutal game. Liverpool punished for not quite being able to, to take any of the three or four good chances they created immediately after going 1-0 up, where they could have gone 2-0 up. Goodness me, we've had a lively start to this second half. Plenty of goal mouth action, almost all of it at one end, really, apart from a moment of real brilliance from Missy Goodwin. Now towards Missy Bo Kearns, his looping header is a simple one for Janina Leipzig to gather. just taking a ton flipped on Got to be careful back there Matthews safety first from Laws Heinz was inside there now Reflection puts it into the path of Nagano who slides in with real ferocity card for Fukunagano. And this is why Nagano's gone in the book. Slightly late on Sam Tierney. Fukunagano, a really impressive footballer, particularly her technical skills. <laughs> Japanese international, played at the Women's World Cup in the summer. In Liverpool from North Carolina Courage, having started her career in Japan at Uara Reds. Made her J League debut as just a 15 year old, such as impressive technical skills. CJ Bott. Sent forward, was kept in play. Laws can gather. 
it's Liverpool's turn to try and refine the momentum that they had before the equaliser. Liverpool desperate to again show that impressive home form. They were fifth, remember, in the home table last season. Picking up 18 points at home, six wins, including victories against Chelsea in their first home game and much later in the campaign against Manchester City. Managed 18 points at home, but just five away from home. And this season fixed that pretty emphatically early doors with winning against Arsenal away from home. We already do have a home win this season as well, 2 0 home win against Aston Villa almost exactly a month ago. Up next for Liverpool after this one. In a week's time, a trip to a much improved Tottenham Hotspur side, then Chelsea away six days later. Everton at home in the Conti Cup on the 22nd of November. Then November finishes off four days later with Brighton and Hove Albion at home. And before the traditional Christmas and New Year break, Bristol City at home and then Manchester United away. 2024 starts with Manchester City away in the league and away in the cup. And then Liverpool's first home game of the New Year is on the 28th of January against Arsenal. Finds his header. Tin. Luka Nagano battling for it, winning it well. And now Lawley, already with one to her name today. Lawley strike, out for a corner. Good desperate defence, recovering just in time for Leicester City. And Mr Lawley. Such a key part in Liverpool's story across recent years. And you can see the injection of confidence that that goal has given her. Four and a half cleared. Now instead might be a possibility for Leicester City on the counter-attack. Goodwin trying to get onto the one-two. Hines was there. And Missy Bedcairns to just give Liverpool a chance to structurally reset from the set piece, gets it back off Laws. Hubinger inside this space in the form of Sofia Roman Haug. Now Lawley out wide. And wins the corner off CJ Bar. Tempo and intensity of this game is really upped in the second half and it's become a lot more open and stretched as well. It's quite a tight and cagey first half tactically by comparison. In comes the corner. Here's to Fuka Nagano. Deflected, pinballing around in there. Nice. Oh, clever shimmy. Might well shoot here. And does and drags it well wide. had to reset herself after the shimmy Hines because wanted it on that much preferred left foot. Well, it was interesting just chatting with uh, a couple of analysts pre this one who were talking about the fact that although Liverpool had only conceded two in four games and Leicester City had only conceded four in four, both sides' number of expected goals was roughly double that number, so they actually thought, despite what those impressive early season numbers might suggest, they thought we'd see quite an open attacking contest, with both defences being really stress-tested, and we've definitely seen that in this second half, no doubt. Those expected goal numbers suggesting maybe both sides had a touch of fortune in those impressive-looking early season numbers. Neither side has got a clean sheet today, albeit due to two very special strikes from Lawley and Goodwin. Can Liverpool get their lead back? Noddy Colwoods, knocked away off the line by Howard, who was running back, almost off the line. Goodwin up against Hines. Laws had to be careful. It was Kane, in fact.
nice pick out from Laws in finding Hines. Fukunagano, another touch on the Fisk. We've seen a lot less of the ball in the first, in the second half in the first Grace Fisk. They've shut down that particular threat quite well, Leicester. Good driving run forward wins Leicester a rare attacking platform in this second half. Nice work from CJ Bott. Took the space on the underlap. And drew foul from Jasmine Matthews, who was eager to make sure she wasn't going to go too much further. With the Rantala with the free kick. Rantala, who signed in the summer from Vitsjö in Sweden, made an instant impact with goal four minutes into her debut and then scored a second in that 4 2 win at Bristol City. Finnish international to deliver. Rantala's ball in. Nevin. Sets up a shooting chance for Thibaut to strike one. Slices off her right foot out and wide from the French international. Double substitution coming here for Liverpool. And it's a double change both ways round. And this is comes off, scoring her first WSL goal in more than four years. And on comes Mia Enderby, a very exciting youngster who we'll be hearing a lot about if you haven't already heard. And Shanice van der Sanden makes her injury return. A Dutch international on in place of Missy Bo Kearns. I mentioned Deanne Rose would seem to be the obvious attacking chains for Yester City and the versatile, impressive summer signing from Leon, the experienced Janice Kamen would be the obvious other change and that is indeed the exact double substitution that Willie Kirk has gone for with Dorantala and Hannah Kane, the two making way. A pair of changes for both sides. It'll be interesting to see the impact that has on the contest. So, Miri Taylor and she's found the Sunden on for Liverpool. Miri Taylor. Coming on for Alison Lawley, Shanice van der Sanden for Missy Bo Kearns. Could be a slight tactical reorganisation. Of course, Mary Taylor scored the winning goal against Arsenal at the Emirates on match day one. Talked about how she had tunnel vision to move back from stateside when she heard that Liverpool were interested. Taylor had, you might remember, who been out there with Angel City. 11 NWSL games after an NCAA career at Hofstra. was back there in the nick of time. Matthews thinks she's won the throwing off Deanne Rose. The officials didn't agree. And a bot. Thibaut getting up there. Trying to work the shooting chance. Not beaten too much on the pass for Deanne Rose. Couldn't do anything about that. I'm sure it will be in their minds here, Leicester City, that if they can get Deanne Rose some space, she will make things happen for them. Dynamic, skillful, exciting runner, the kind of player that you're delighted to see playing. And you rock up to the ground and pay for your ticket, or if she's on the opposing team, you're a bit scared. 
such is the damage she can do Leipzig great pressing trying to make something happen Very surprised if this one finishes up 1 1. Second half has been a very lively and open affair. Both teams clearly seem to have no real interest in settling for a point whatsoever. just thinking of pressing her for a second but Leipzig then got it away free kick won by Leicester around the corner trying to break out of that press Liverpool Nevin Battling for it. Now Mia Enderby hunting it down. It's going to be really interesting to notice how those two attacking substitutions for either side can make a real difference. Mia Enderby and Shanice van der Sun, two very different types of wingers for Liverpool on the either flank. And then Diane Rose is direct running and Janice came and trying to provide some service into her for Leicester. Here is Diane Rose. Rose's cross. Looping header. And Rose offside. Come back for the second ball from her own cross. Diane Rose, the Canadian international, a gold medal winner, no less, at the Olympics. She was key in that penalty shootout, of course, played in two of the three group stage matches at the recent Women's World Cup, where Canada had something of a disappointing campaign. Got her first cap as a 16-year-old. First made her name in the WSL with Reading before joining Leicester after Reading were relegated last season. Had a long spell out with an ACL injury as well. Fouled. I think fans frustrated. We play points to the fact that it was a slightly clumsy challenge from behind by Sophia Roman Hag. <laughs> <laughs> 
Leipzig. Looking for Peterman's flick on. Tinney in there battling for it. And with hot potato ends up at the feet of Fukunagano. Shanice van der Sanden, who hasn't seen a lot of the ball since coming on. Van der Sanden back with Liverpool. Highly decorated, experienced player. Such an asset to Matt Beard's side. Heinz. Well, one by Rose is so dangerous in situations like this. And a great ball wide from Rose. Slightly heavy touch gave the chance for Liverpool to win it back. Howard's header came off Thibault. You really do sense we're in for a thrilling finale here. Neither side seems particularly content with 1-1. One, one. Becoming all the more open and stretched as time goes on. Clever ball round the corner by Cayman. And there was slight miscommunication between goalkeeper and defender, which has ended with both down. It was the experienced defender Gemma Bonner colliding with keeper Rachel Laws. Both of them are on the floor in some considerable pain. Bonner, who's making her 134th appearance for the Reds in the WSL era today, equaling Ashley Hodson as their all-time highest appearance maker across that time. Bonner, who signed for Liverpool for a second spell on Christmas Eve of 2022 from Racing Louisville in the NWSL, having captained Liverpool to winning the WSL in 2013 and 2014. Memorable times for the Reds. The one in 2013 to stop Arsenal making it 10 straight top flight titles and they retain the title in 2014 on a bonkers final day where they'd started it in third place behind Chelsea and Birmingham City but managed to take the spoils. Let's have a look back at the goals. Two stunning, brilliant individual goals. The first from Melissa Lawley. Her first in the WSL for just over four years since scoring for Liverpool against Bristol City once upon a time in October 2019. Melissa Lawley scoring that one, which made it 1-0 in the 48th minute. And Liverpool had three or four good chances after that to go and make it 2-0. They didn't quite manage to take any of them, but they were completely dominating the run of play until this moment. Unconvincing defending from Liverpool, who couldn't get it clear. Julie Thibault helped it round the corner. And then it was touched on for Missy Goodwin, who produced an absolute stunner. Had no right to score from an angle like that, and yet did so magnificently. Got one to go with the goal that she scored against Liverpool in a 4-0 home win last season. a substitution made during that injury delay Josie Green has gone off and Amy Palmer who scored against Liverpool the opening goal in a 2-1 win in the Carabao Cup the Conti Cup I should say earlier on this season has come on so third change made Amy Palmer on in place of Josie Green Van der Sanden capable of producing magic cross cleared by Howard into the last 10 minutes which of these two is going to win this one these two teams have proved proven as evenly matched on the pitches we anticipated before this contest Alan Goodwin, the goal scorer. Chance 
have to put the ball into the box off Courtney Nevin's left foot. Law. Nevin in towards Laws. Liverpool did just enough to deal with it. Hines forward. Hines on a second time. Offside against Shanice van der Sanden. Thibaut goes direct. Great ball for Diane Rose, who's so dangerous in one on ones. It's inside. It's good work from Hines just to stem the flow. Thibaut, game looking for Rose. Thibaut. Forced all the way back to Leipzig. That's a compliment to Liverpool's defensive setup. Next for Leicester City after this. Welcome both sides of North London, Arsenal at home, then Tottenham Hotspur at home. Followed by Manchester City away in the Conti Cup and Chelsea away to finish off November. December in the WSL brings Brighton away and West Ham at home for the traditional Christmas and New Year break. And 2024 starts with Aston Villa at home in the league, Everton away in the Cup. And then you know, curious run, similar to Liverpool, who had Manchester City twice. Manchester City play Everton again, except they play them at home, then away in the Cup and League. Well, Man Hag couldn't quite get the shot off. Under Sunden will leave the throw for Fisk to take. Oh, lovely shimmy that. And the Sundance reverse ball blocked. Now Matthews twisting and turning with not too much support, but does get it away to Enderby. Yeah, Enderby's pullback. Oh, and it's gone in. Leipzig couldn't keep it out. Liverpool have their lead back. A great assist from Mir Enderby. After Matthews initially didn't have too much around her, Enderby makes the run, peeling away off the back of CJ Bott. And then Maria Hubinger arrives to get her third WSL goal this season. She's already becoming a fan's favourite in the Northwest. Scored in the 2 0 home win here against Aston Villa. Scored last time out against West Ham United a couple of weeks ago. And we'll hope she might have scored a winner here. And we have plenty of time for Leicester to find a response. And that will be Marie Hubinger's last touch of the ball. She comes off to rapturous applause. Mary Taylor, the heroine of Liverpool's win at the Emirates to start off this season, comes on. Ball hooping up. Just under five minutes plus stoppages left. What kind of a response from Leicester City find? Oh, will Liverpool get a third? Van der Sanden couldn't quite bring it under control or slip it in behind. Liverpool now mere moments from 
the fifth home win in seven in the WSL. Tini. Heinz invited to join the attack. Great first time ball for Van der Sanden. Sophia Roman Haag. Great tackle, and it had to be. spotted but just after that substitution just after that goal I should say another substitution was made Grace Fisk off Jana Daniels on as well as Marie Taylor coming on for Marie Hubinger and there will be another to follow now Sophia Roman Haug who's come close to her first Liverpool goal today without quite getting it summer signing from Roma settling into life in the northwest comes off it's a defensive minded change understandable at this stage of things, of course. And Manhag were placed by the midfielder. Sophie Lunga, a Danish central midfielder who joined from Fortuna Huring in January 2023. Danish youth international. Yet, during some of her time there with Brian Sorensen, who's now the Everton manager. Enderby trying to get onto it. Still trying to fight to win it off CJ Bart. Now Tierney. And what's becoming a frantic finale here. Fuka Nagano goes down. And there will be further punishment for that challenge. Truly Thibault gets a booking. create from the dead ball situation. They go short Back to Miri Taylor. Leicester City with the player down will eventually come back. You can hear what the home fans think of it. City unsurprisingly in the rush to get on with it Leipzig set to put it into the box that's a flick on not quite close enough to the Ambrose though to bother Liverpool and Laws Javis and understandably isn't in much of a rush on into stoppage time all lies on the board and to groans from the home supporters it is a minimum of seven additional added minutes plenty of time for Leicester to get a route back Baker made for Baker twisting and turning stands one up headed only half clear Tierney Good sliding challenge to help Leicester City keep possession. Baker once more smashes it over. Wild and wide from Ava Baker. I know Willie Kirk, our head coach, is a big fan of, but didn't quite make the right decision here. 17 year old who pitched in nine WSL games last season. 
He's getting the first minutes of the new campaign here. Not an easy scenario to come on in as a 17-year-old when you haven't played a minute of this season in the league and try and make an impact on a game like this with home crowd against you as well and having gone 2-1 down. Cleared away. RV by Liverpool. Have an eye on seeing if they can hold out for this, which will be a first win in four across all competitions. That 2-1 Conti Cup defeat at Leicester City. The 1-0 home loss in the derby against Everton. And then that one all draw against West Ham United, where an equalizer in the fifth minute of stoppage time from Ueki gave the Hammers a point. Eager to avoid that fate once more. That is a foul throw from CJ Bott, which means that it will be a Liverpool throw-in. Not something you see very often. Rightly called and picked up on by the referee. Heinz, Munga, on the red shirt. Sent forward, it will run for Deanne Rose. Rose's cross, Laws was scrambling, has that gone over the line? Nothing given, Liverpool with a player down in the box. On we go in this frantic finish, Amy Palmer's ball in this time. Mary Taylor back there scrambling to get a boot on it. And the cross from Rose was right from the byline. It was zinged with the outside of her right boot such that it was curling back towards goal. And obviously, that angle isn't going to tell you a huge amount about whether all of the ball had crossed the line. And, of course, no video assistant referee technology in the WSL, no goal line technology in the WSL. So, beyond the officials on the field, nothing more much can be done. Here's Rose. Wins the corner. Corner off Gemma Bonner. Had to use all her experience there to try and keep Deanne Rose quiet. You cannot take your eyes off this finale here at Prenton Park. Is there a late twist? Can Liverpool avoid what happened to them at West Ham two weeks ago when they conceded a heartbreaking equaliser in stoppage time? In comes the in-swinging corner. Teasing delivery, flashed all the way through. And got a small flick off a Liverpool head on the way through. Janina Leitzig is up there just to add to the drama. And with her height, if they can get it anywhere near her, she'll certainly be a threat. Thibaut goes near post. And it's out for a goal kick. So Liverpool's relief. Liverpool desperate to show that they're on the up. Newly promoted last season, they comfortably stayed up. Moving on to 10 points from five games would be a real way of showing that, again, they're continuing to go on an upwardly mobile trajectory. Looked around the corner, under Sunderland fighting for it. Liverpool get the free kick. And that's just what they'll want to try and calm the nerves of their supporters as we're into the sixth minute of the minimum seven added on. Plenty of goals coming in elsewhere as well. It's two all at half time between West Ham and Bristol City. It's 1 1 with the full time whistle imminent between Tottenham and Everton. So nobody's kept a clean sheet this season. In fact, it's full time at Spurs Everton. It's just finished 1 1. Brighton versus Manchester United. Later tonight is your final game of the weekend. It's 
from the Sunderland. I should say no team's kept a clean sheet today, of course, because Chelsea kept a clean sheet in their 6-0 win against Aston Villa yesterday. Clever work from Van der Sanden, using all of her experience. As soon as they won that free kick, was demanding that Miri Taylor put it to her in the corner, and Van der Sanden draws the foul. Van der Sanden. Van der Sanden having a scrap for the ball in the corner. Exactly what the situation demands. And the Dutch woman is doing it very nicely. That's harder than it looks. Really, really clever. Frustrating the heck out of Leicester City. Taking 16 points from their last 10 league games. In the back end of last season and the start of this season. But they're on the brink of back-to-back -back defeats. Balfro does give Leicester City the ball back. But very much at the wrong end of the pitch. Fukanagano. Lovely running from Enderby. Heinz. Enderby. We're in overtime in stoppage time. And that's not quite that. Some Liverpool fans had hoped that was the full-time whistle. Leipzig. Liverpool fans desperate for the whistle. Near Enderby's gone in the book there. And Liverpool fans have got the full-time whistle. A sixth win in their last eight WSL home games for Liverpool, who are starting to turn Prenton Park into something of a fortress. A spectacular goal from Melissa Lawley, her first WSL goal in more than four years gave them the lead in the 48th minute. A strike of similarly magical qualities from Missy Goodwin. Leveled things for Leicester City nine minutes later, but Marie Hubinger, who's fast becoming a favorite on the red side of Merseyside, produced the winner in the 84th minute, her third WSL goal of the season for the summer signing from Tabina Potsdam. Takes Liverpool three points above Leicester City and on to 10 points from their first five games. Impressive stuff as Matt Beard's 150th WSL game as a manager is marked with his 50th win as a WSL manager. A thoroughly entertaining second half in particular and Leicester City suffer back-to-back -back defeats. It finishes Liverpool 2, Leicester City 1. Let's take a look at the full-time highlights from this one. It was a game that really did burst into the fullness of life in the second half. That was... One of Liverpool's best chances in the first half, Sofima Roman Haag almost getting her first goal for the club, forcing a good save from Inina Leipzig. Hubinger tried her luck from distance, and Leipzig made the stop. And then here's where it, the game really started to get it snap, crackle and pop. Melissa Lawley scoring her first WSL goal since October 2019, when she scored for Liverpool in a 1-1 draw against Bristol City, sending it as it's colloquially known, roofing it into the roof of the net because she knew that that was the only way she could beat Leipzig. And then, key moments in the match here, had Liverpool not won, they'd have rude not taking an opportunity like this. Heinz setting up Roman Haag, Leipzig made a good save. There was three other good half chances for Liverpool in that period when they'd just gone 1-0 up, but just nine minutes or so after going ahead, it was 1-1. Have a look at this from Missy Goodwin, her first goal of the season in the WSL and one she won't be forgetting any time soon. She scored in a 4-0 home win for Leicester City between these sides last season. And then this was the winner. Great work from Jasmine Matthews to find Mia Enderby in space. Enderby's pullback and there was Marie Hubinger for her third WSL goal of the season in the 84th minute. We weren't done there though. Leicester City had late pressure. Deanne Rose with a swerving, awkward cross that was going goalwards off the outside of her right boot, curling towards goal. 
And Rachel Laws just about managed to scramble and keep it out. No goal line technology, of course, in the Barclays Women's Super League, so no way of us definitively knowing. But ultimately, Laws kept it out. Liverpool survived and Liverpool take the points. They moved on to 10 points from five games. They go above Leicester City in the table. Leicester City, after back-to-back -back defeats, stay on seven points from five. A thoroughly entertaining game here at Prenton Park. We hope you've enjoyed it wherever you've been across the world. It's finished Liverpool 2, Leicester City 1.